This game is called Pal Rave, and it is a retro racing arcade game with modern graphics and effects made by a friend of mine. And I really think it is a nice game. What I like even more about it is the fact that it was made from scratch without a game engine. Let's see what programming language did he use though. Okay, okay, that was a joke. Please stop spamming the comment section. Yes, yes, you. I, I can see you there. Stop posting hate comments. We will just make this game in C++ because this is what I like, but you can do it in any language you want. Well, except Prolog, because who the fuck uses it? Best? So, the thing about this project is that it is actually very easy to make, so I recommend you to give it a try if you are a beginner and want to learn some more advanced stuff. JavaDix9 has a great tutorial that you can follow along with some just some basic C++ knowledge, so give it a try. In this video, however, I won't go into great detail, but I'll show you the tricks used to make the game look 3D. We will start by drawing the road and the sky, and we get this result. Well, it doesn't look right at all, why is that? Well, that is because real men use perspective when coding their 3D games. The idea is that things that are further from the viewer will look smaller. Now, if you look at this road, you can see that the road seems to get smaller the further we look. This is perspective. We can achieve that in code by multiplying the road size by a perspective coefficient that starts from 1 and goes to 0 when it gets towards the middle of the screen. We can add some constants value to modify the effect of the perspective, and in this case, multiplying by a constant gives the illusion of the camera being further or closer to the ground. And if you want to buy perspective, check out our store below. Bro, you can't just remake my game in C++. What do you mean I can't? Why not? You scared I'll make a better game than you did? Uh, no. Yes, I will. Okay, okay, look. If I make a better game than you did, you have to give away some free keys to all my Discord community. Uh, no, I don't wanna... Okay, bye. That. Okay, so back to the problem at hand. So, now we need to add a car to our track, but how will it make it look like it's moving? Well, we can add an alternating pattern to the ground and move it when we place the up key. This gives the illusion of moving, but there is a problem. Lines that are further apart should be closer due to perspective. Let's fix that. Now I'm using a sign function to generate the alternating pattern, and we need to modify it a little. For this, I like to use Desmos. Let's see how it works. So this is our function so far, and when it is greater than 0 we have a lighter grass color, and when the function is lower than 0 we have a darker grass color. Let's try to rise x to the second power and see what we get. Okay, this makes the line closer, the further apart we go. Now we need to add what is called the face to our function, which is just an offset on the x-axis, and it is the thing that makes the terrain look like it's moving. Okay, this doesn't look good. Let's try it again. Perfect. Let's test it. Okay, so the result seems to be flipped, so all we have to do is flip our variable and we are done. In this example, I raised our variable to the second power, but you can also raise it to the third power to get an even stronger perspective effect, like this. Okay, now let's add some curvature to our track. Or how a certain YouTuber would say it, make our terrain look thick. For this, we will use the linear interpolation function, which is probably the most important game dev function. Basically, given two constants and a variable, it allows us to mix those constants using the variable. If our variable is zero, then we get the first constant. If our variable is 1, we get the second constant, and any value between 0 and 1 will get us what is called a linear combination between the two values. In our case, the track middle will start at 0 0.5, and we will add the road curvature weighted by Fy. Fy is 0 towards the bottom of the screen and 1 at the middle of the screen. The result looks like this. Now, this doesn't look right, and it is because we are using a linear interpolation. And the name is not chosen at random, it gives us a straight line. We can however raise our variable to the second power, like we did previously, and this will no longer produce a straight line. After that, I did some mountains in the background, again using a sign function. And the final result looks like this. The road generates randomly, and if you are wondering how am I checking if the track generated makes sense, I'm simply not doing that. If you want to check out the game, the link to the binary is on my Discord server in the goodies section. 
And if you want to try Palm Ride, we'll be doing a giveaway on my Discord server in a few days, but I first need to win the contest of who made the game better, me or my friend. So make sure to vote on my channel when I post the voting poll. Or maybe just, you know, buy the game, we are just some broke game devs who are trying to make a living out of making Steam games.